Hello and welcome to the workshop. Appreciate you stopping by, kicking it with us for a few minutes, no pun intended, but we do have some sneakers on deck, as you might expect. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel though, because we do a brand new video almost every single day. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And with that said, let's dive right in. Buckets, do you have any objections? Speak now or forever hold your peace. I do not. Three, two, one, bang, bang. The Air Jordan 1 mid multicolor. These released recently and retail was 125 bucks. Shouts to Kicks R for us for tossing us a pair to take a look at. Another Jordan 1 mid. I mean, Jordan brand is pumping the mids out left and right. I'm not sure how many they've done over the last six months or so, but it's definitely a lot. Buckets, there's been an uptick in Jordan 1 mids. For sure. My stance on them has not changed. I've said this before. It's not a sneaker I dig personally, but I see other people rocking them beautifully. And speaking of beautifully, this is a women's release. So if you're a dude and you want the sneakers, you have to adjust your size accordingly. We've seen a lot of that with the mid as far as women's releases go. And I gotta say, even though I'm not a fan of the sneaker in and of itself, I think they're doing an incredible job with some of the colorways. These in particular are super vibrant. Green. White. Purple. Black. Yellow. Blue. Orange, gold, I mean, they've incorporated all the colors on these. Roy G. Biv, it's, it's all here, hence multicolor. They also used a bunch of different materials, which is kind of cool. Everything from a new buck to a patent leather and shorter and longer haired suede as well. You got black laces, as you can see, jump man on the tongue. And if I'm being honest, that's what I don't like most about these Jordan 1 mids. I know I'm nitpicking. I know it's gonna sound crazy to some of you. It shouldn't be a big deal. I think that honestly, it bothers me more than the mid cut aspect of the sneaker. When it comes to the Jordan 1, I'm so used to that Nike air on the tongue that this tongue patch they use, it just kind of throws me off. I don't like it. I've just been so conditioned to see that Nike air that this feels more dumbed down. Having said that, I've been appreciating all the different colorways I really have. They've done a good job. I love the patent leather swoosh on these. I think the red stitching is a cool little touch. The Wings logo has a glossy finish, which pairs well with said swoosh, and they capped it off with the blacked out bottoms. It's been interesting because some of these Jordan 1 mids have actually had pretty crazy resale values. I've seen certain pairs go for like four or 500 bucks, which is just not something you expect to see. It just goes to show you that when Jordan brand wants to pump 
some life and energy into a particular model, they're pretty damn good at doing that. I've yet to buy a pair myself, but it's clear that they have injected some life into these buckets. Would you agree with that? I do agree. There's definitely a concerted effort to do so. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so Buckets and I are on the same page. There's also, before I forget, a low top version of this same colorway, this same sneaker. And I think I do prefer those, but overall, the colorway is good. There's just something about that black patent leather swoosh that I just love, and I don't even know why, but I just dig it. Classy Tings. Now, you know we gotta rate these before we get out of here, or it is not an official review. So on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving these a seven buckets. Where are you coming in at? Like a seven, probably. All right, so seven and seven, even though, would you wear these? Probably not. Me neither, but still, we appreciate them if that makes sense. Maybe some of you can relate. There's sneakers you don't necessarily want to wear yourself, but you dig them on other people and you still appreciate them. That's kind of where I'm at with these. Let us know how you feel. How do you feel about this particular sneaker? How do you feel about this colorway? How do you feel about the Jordan 1 mids? How do you feel about Jordan brand in general? However you're feeling, whatever emotions you're feeling right now, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. Adios.